is when you stand up from the ruku' position, it is actually hated in the salah position to look up to the sky. And a lot of people, they do this. They will say, Rabbana wa alhamd, and they would look up to the sky. And there is a specific hadith about this of the Prophet wasallam negating this action. It's an action that is hated when it comes into the salah. One of the wisdoms that's mentioned in the explanation of this particular hadith is that this was one of the manners or one of the methods of how the mushrikun used to worship their idols and used to worship their lords that they used to be devoted to one of the ways they used to do that is they used to look up into the sky and worship them at the same time when it comes to rabbana wa lakal hamd again your focus should be always on the sujood area then it goes down to the sujood itself now the question here is how do you go from the standing position to sujood do you go down knees first or do you go down with hands first? Now, there is a hadith of the Prophet ﷺ telling us not to go down the way that a camel will sit. And if you look at the way that a camel will sit, it will bend two of its legs and then the rest of its body will follow. But the problem with that is when the Prophet ﷺ mentions this, Scholars, they derived a benefit out of this, and that is the whole issue with the knees versus the hands first. Many of the scholars of hadith, they encourage that you should go down with your hands first and then your knees. Because the Prophet ﷺ says, don't go down to sujood the way that the camel will sit. The camel will fold up its knees and then it will sit down. The issue is scholars differ on what exactly is the knees of a camel. That's why some of the fuqaha, they said, no, going down with your knees first is permissible. And as a, as a matter of fact, the more correct opinion simply because there's an ikhtilaf in this issue. And some of the ulama also mentioned that this was a practice of various companions as well. Various companions used to go down with their knees first, followed by their hands. Allah Azza wa Jal knows best. I found that in my research in this particular mas'ala, I found that the evidences for both are very good. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best, but it seems as though inshallah, both of them are acceptable. When a person goes into Sujood, there are a number of different mistakes that happen in sujood. What a lot of uh, people they do is that when they're in sujood, their feet are suspended in the air. I don't know why, but a lot of people they do this is that when they're in the sujood, instead of the toes touching the ground, it's suspended in the air just like that. And if you look at it very carefully, it's very obvious what the ruling behind this is. The sujood doesn't count. Because the Prophet ﷺ tells us specifically, it's a specific number that he gives us. Seven parts must touch the ground when you're in sujood.